Well, I'm up here in Yellowstone National Park. After leaving Craters of the Moon National Monument, I came here. I wanted to do some filming here as well. And the focus was to show my perspective of Yellowstone. Every couple of years I have to come up here and get my fix, regardless of the tourists and the crowds and everything else. And I'm not always so interested in seeing the lava pots and that sort of thing. But I want to see the things that typically people miss because they just drive by them. For instance, what's it like to take a look at all the vegetation that supports the wildlife in this park? That's one of the things that was really on my mind when I decided to come here. So I'm not going to try to describe every plant that I see or photograph. I'm just going to let you walk through in my shoes what this time is about for me. I hope you enjoy it. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if this is your repeat time being on the channel, Life with Peter, welcome back. Appreciate you being here. It's always a pleasure and it means a lot to me when we can connect, even if it's via YouTube, and share things of our lives and learn from each other. So there is so much richness in the vegetation here, and without that vegetation, this park would never survive. Without the mud pots, the wildlife, especially the buffalo and the elk, this park would not have been here. So as we drive through it, we often are unable to stop and pull over and look at anything in real detail because there's very few spots to do that except in those that where the tourists really want to stop which is typically the mud pots or viewpoints where you can see buffalo fairly up close. What was around me? What was I standing on? What was I driving by? And so this was my perspective on Yellowstone. Not just the wildlife and the mud pots but the vegetation. What makes this park so vibrant and healthy?
Right now, I'm in the Lamar Valley, and this is where the wolves are. So, back behind me, up the road a bit, there's lots of cars parked in every single spot trying to locate and see the wolves that are here. <laughs> 